I am in the 2020 Dodge Challenger Wide Body Scat Pack Charger. We're doing that again. <laughs> What's going on guys? My name is Voss and if you're new to the channel, today we are in a 2020 Charger Wide Body Scat Pack. Yes. And we're gonna review it and we're gonna see how it does. But first, let's just cut to the cinematics. If you're here for the first time, thanks for coming. If you wouldn't mind, just uh, that little uh, that little like button down there, if you wouldn't mind just smashing that real quick. It really would help me out if you could share this. But um, anyway, we are in the 2020 um, Charger Scat Pack Wide Body in Hellraisin. Yes, with the and carbon stripe. If you notice a familiar face here, it's because this is my good friend Justin. Um, this is his brand new daily driver. His 24th birthday was yesterday, so I don't know when this video will be up. But I think this was your little, uh, yes, little, this little was, gift uh, for yourself. This was my 24th birthday gift and graduation present for myself. And um, yeah, let's let's just let's jump in. I I have been in now between you and Eric and, and everybody else that seems to get Dodges. I've I've been in a lot of Dodges. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know um, and. Uh, they still don't they don't they don't hook us up or anything but that's, no, I mean, that's neither here nor there but anyway this is the 2020 charger scat pack wide body um and it's everything you would think it is it's aggressive it's got 305s it's mean why why did you get this and give me some of the the quick what you know first tell me if this was impulse or not and then tell me what made you just get get this other uh, over other things on an impulse it was a 12 out of 10. okay um okay. I saw it driving to an eye doctor's appointment and wanted to check it out. I was early to the eye doctor's appointment, looked over the car, and I knew it was... I had driven one of these at the Bondurant Racing School. Okay. And I, I drove the Daytona trim, but I, I kind of understood what I was getting into. 485 horsepower, 475 foot-pounds of torque. And wow. I knew it was... I wanted a fun car, but I also needed a pretty reliable daily, and this was kind of the best of both worlds, especially in this price range. And that... that power and torque is fitted with an eight-speed automatic transmission yes okay um and curb weight 40 uh, 4379 okay, so about just about 4400 4, 4, pounds. pounds so it's not light it's no not, no it's this, not a light car by this thing means. could lose a thousand pounds and it would be even more scary to drive i'm sure um okay well you know other than that there's kind of it, it seats five comfortably comfortably the back uh, seat has got, tons of leg room yeah it, it does tons of leg room. Um, there's a good bit of trunk space yes we have recently uh got into golfing i yes. don't know why i don't know why we choose to pay money to to, to like upset ourselves yeah i but, just uh, every time i go i get worse but um golf clubs fit back there no problem effortlessly yes. you know um but other than that you know you've got creature comforts you got android auto the 8.4 inch uh dodge infotainment heated steering wheel heated, heated seats, seats backup I mean, cam okay um and then all of the fun drive modes that i'm sure you guys have seen in the hellcat review what i've liked with dodge since i've been driving since the gt when i got a chance to drive that it seems like there's only like what's in here is just what's necessary yes. and not like excessively and then you can really just focus on enjoying your drive and this is no different like you, you were saying you know almost north of 500 horsepower yes that is that's a lot of power. It's a lot. And, yeah, for, and the torque. For a 4,400 pound car, I believe Dodge rates zero to 60 at 4.2 seconds. And that's on- Oh my gosh. That's on the stock 305, 3520 uh, P0 all seasons that this comes standard with on all four corners. And having driven a not wide body Hellcat with it having 265 or 275s, and I can't remember which ones. Yeah. I will say the 305s, having just driven this uh, just a little bit, the 305s do a lot better job making contact with the ground. I almost couldn't imagine this car without those tires. No, I mean it'll it'll smoke the tires pretty effortlessly. We'll do with the we'll do a little we'll do a little pull later. Yeah, but uh, um, but yeah, no. So you know, other than that, I mean, you've got the Dodge Performance Pack, you've got the infotainment, you've got uh, launch control, yep. a line lock, multiple um, suspension and transmission setup modes. 
valet mode, eco mode, which is useless. I've turned it on. It's pretty dumb. But I mean, I, I daily drive this thing and I get 24 miles to the gallon pretty frequently just on the drives I have. Well, that's going to be the uh, the quick rambling. And now, now let's let's see what people really want to see, which yes. is how it drives. Between this, the Charger, I mean the Challenger, the other stuff they have. I guess why did you end up with the Charger? I, I honestly I wanted the four doors, and in my okay. opinion, I think the Charger just looks a little better. That's not no hate against the Challengers. They're great looking cars, but yeah. for for where I'll be driving in traffic in. I guess Metro Detroit area. Um, the automatic made a little more sense. I have a manual Camry, and I just I, I don't know. I think I think it looked just a little bit better. And what is this? You know, not least maybe the least you can explain a little better too. But like, what is this going for? What is this going for? Like if I were to walk in and I buy one of these, I think in this spec the MSRP was fifty one thousand oh dollars. That so that's not cheap. No. But, but the amount of car you're getting for that is is a lot. Like I always say this in my videos, but like the average new car in America is like thirty eight, thirty seven thousand yeah. dollars. So you don't have to get the scat pack with the wide body. But no. these aren't that much more money than than, than right there. And you still get the V eight. You still get the. I think the non wide body starts at maybe forty one or forty two thousand. Okay. But what you I mean you get the I think the wide body looks better. You get yeah, I'm a little bit that. different tuned suspension. You get a much larger um, front and rear sway bar. You get. I believe bigger brakes. You get the 305s. You get 20 by 11 inch wheels. You have an 8.4 inch. Yeah, the 8.4 inch touchscreen. Performance pack. You can do like you're saying the drag times. Yes. The, the lap monitoring. Um, and then in addition to that, it's got the right amount of creature comforts. So yeah, you're not really missing out. He heated steering wheel. Yep. I think I first experienced that in the GT. Didn't realize how nice it was it's because so that day it was like negative six degrees outside. So and you know you live in you unfortunately live in Michigan <laughs> where like the roads are garbage and it's always cold. Yes. So. Um, so that would be things like that. I feel like it'd be really nice. And then another thing that um, doesn't get enough credit, a lot of manufacturers doing now is you've got a remote start. So like, it's so great. This so is... if you're at work or you're you're getting up in the morning, you don't have to walk outside and no. turn your car on. You can just click a couple buttons and um, you know. It's so great. Like I mean, I have I, this is my third car now. I have the 2005 Camry, which doesn't have power locks, doesn't have yeah power doors, and but. I have to go out and start it every single morning, and then my truck, I don't have remote start, I don't have power locks, I don't have power windows even, it's a work truck, but this is like, this is like the lap of luxury, relatively speaking, compared to my other cars. Well, this is nice, and like, you know, the inside of these cars, like, I mean, it's not like, don't get me wrong, like, it's not the most luxurious thing I've been in, no. but do I really think about that when I do this? It's not even in track mode, that's the best part. Like. When you do that, who cares if you have leather seats? Who no. cares if you have? You there know? is a target demographic for this car. Yes, most and definitely. I fit that demographic. It is the it is the just got out of school, wanted their first kind of fun car, yeah, want, want to be that. seen in it, and um, I mean honestly, like Dodge Dodge hit the mark on this car. It is exactly what someone in my position wants in their first cool car. Yep, I'm more of a, of a German car kind of guy. But yeah, I yes, mean, I get what you're saying. I mean, I'm I don't, I don't have to pay six thousand dollars to a tech to get my oil changed. I could do that in my garage myself. Ouch, that that one hurt. But you know what? Fair, <laughs> fair. But uh, no, like this is this. I've now been, I've now, like I said, been in so many Dodges where like I didn't really feel intimidated hopping in here. Like everything is easy no. to understand. You got the different drive modes, which we will experience here in a second. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll put it in fun good. mode. Let's see here. Let's see. Yeah, you, you, why don't you, you, you treat me here. Touch. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So now we're in track mode. So which um, firms up the suspension, okay. lets the engine rev a little longer or a little higher. A little more response or anything it, like that. I think it's got okay. more. It's a lot more twitchy, is how okay. I would describe See, it. It'll shift harder. Is off. Okay. Not so. It's weird. I believe sport is the the least amount of traction control in this car because really? in track mode, it's geared to basically keep the tires planted. It's not geared to let you hang it out. This is uh, geared for like actual road race. We are now in track mode. Yep. It feels. And then it's not. It's it's not like a night and day difference at all, but there's the suspension's a little yeah, bouncier, it and because it's way. got electric power steering, they make the the steering feel a little tighter. Is how I would describe I, it. I'm with you on that. I, you know, it's got power shifters. We'll try here in a second. Yep. Um, I don't know when Dodge is going to jump the DCT, but being in here, having driven a lot of these, the eight speed feels very fast. It's, it's, it feels it's, twitchy. It, it, it and shifts feels quick. Responsive. Um, one thing that scares me with this is like. 
feel like we're just cruising. I look down, I don't even realize the speed we're doing. Like, it doesn't no. feel that fast to me. I Until think, I look down, I'm like, oh my gosh, like that is. I think that's probably accredited to just to how much this car weighs, honestly. Yeah, it's not light. It doesn't It doesn't feel like you're going as fast as you are, but yeah, this is where the, the well, track suspension's like, yeah, a little I, worse. If I were just kind of, if I just kind of did one of these. Like, you get in the speeds quick. <laughs> Yeah. We don't speed on the road. No. However, it, it pulls at any speed in any. Yes. Year. Like I apologize. We had to make one more cut because, um, well, you know, we were we were Driving. trying to understand the car a little better, and we um, we don't speed on the road, obviously. No. But like we may or may not have been testing its boundaries, and uh, just just needed a second to to yeah. to recoup. The tires were too hot. We had to cool yeah. the tires down. Um, but um, but no, like you know, I don't have, I, I I don't have a lot of negatives to say about this car because it, it is tar like you're right, it is targeting a certain type of person, which yeah. is hey, I I'm younger, I think it's targeting. I mean, it's targeting all age groups, but like yeah. I really would see a younger guy who doesn't want their Italian stitched leather or like some something stupid like that. Like they no, they you, want hey, I want to be comfortable, I want to be practical, but I want to have a lot of fun. You want a rear wheel drive muscle car with plenty of horsepower. And that's that's what this car is. It yep. delivers. Yeah, it's I mean it's there. It, it's fun, it's sporty. Yep. And it uh it just like it's easy to drive too. Like I don't feel scared in here. No. Whatsoever. Now, all chargers are automatic, correct? Yes. And I wonder if that's just because of it being the sedan. It'd be cool if they. It'd have been nice to give the yeah the the, uh, the user the option to get a manual. But I understand like it. I mean, I think like I've driven the I've driven the Dodge uh, Challenger Hellcat in a manual, and it was just I mind you, I wasn't really good at driving a manual at the time. Not that I'm great now, but it was just it was a lot. It was yep. a lot to handle with 700 horsepower. And I mean, this is it's such a good daily driver because it's just easy to get in and go. It yeah no it. It's easy to drive. It feels comfortable. I understand. Like you know, you have a, you have a pretty big commute every day, right? 30, yeah. 40 minutes, something yep. like that. So like, this seems like it would do well in, in that you know in that category because you have the passing power on the highway. You can have a lot of fun if you're going back roads. You want to let the back kind of squeal around it. It'll do all that. Yeah. But like you're saying, you get 20 some miles a gallon on the highway, which I'm not saying. Okay, I'm by not. I'm not sitting here saying 20 miles a gallon no. is a lot, but. Given what this four, is, four door, forty four hundred pound yeah, sedan with, north with just horsepower. Yeah. That's a lot. That's good. To put it in perspective, I'm getting about thirteen in the M3, no matter how I drive it. Today. Yeah, so my, like my Camry with one hundred and sixty horsepower gets maybe thirty. So, yeah, so like, and it's a four cylinder. So yeah, this is this has been this has been fun. Well, I'm gonna. I think that's a it's a good time to to wrap this up before we get into. Uh, any more trouble today yes. so um guys if you enjoy this review you know please smash that like button share this um all of the the tires are so wide it's just <laughs> chucking yeah, dirt it's, behind it's bad. us all of the revenue generated from the views in the month of october and november will be donated to buckeithon which is a student organization that is looking to help and pediatric cancer and just different they have different goals in mind so if that's something that interests you please consider uh watching this liking this it helps me out a ton but um other than that please make sure you check out justin on instagram i'll put that somewhere here um and just give me your give me your, your ending thoughts on this guy right here happy with your decision i love it any sort I, of buyer's regret remorse nope, love no? this car so much you gonna keep this for a hot minute oh uh, yes i do not plan on getting rid of it anytime soon you wanna you wanna organize a little race close course Ah, okay. You don't want to do a little little dig no. with the Tesla? I mean, not, God, no, no, not with the Tesla. I'll go to Killcare and screw around with you with okay. the M3. Or, yeah, I'll lose that one. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, might I, be pretty dang close, I just, I, did, I think that you like that car so much that I don't think you would push it, whereas this thing, right. it's still under warranty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next video.